Hi everybody, welcome back to Ukulele Summer. I am wearing white today in honor of the suffragettes. 2020 is the 100th anniversary of women's suffrage here in the US, and so I wanted to be sure to include a song with that in mind this summer. This song is Cotton Mill Girls. Uh, it's not a song specifically about the suffragettes or about the women's vote, but it is uh, about women singing, actually girls in this case, I mean literally children, who were working in the cotton mills and because they did not have a voice, because women did not have a vote, they could not change the conditions. And so they turned to music, as we know is also a powerful vehicle, uh, but certainly no substitute for, uh, for the vote. So um, Cotton Mill Girls is a traditional tune. I believe it was made famous, famous, you know, sort of spread around to, to, to the public in 1963 when it was recorded by Hetty West. She was a marvelous banjo player. Uh, who gathered up a lot of tunes from her Appalachian community and shared them with the world. So I, I thank her and um, her songs. Um, this is Cotton Mill Girls. We are going to play it in the key of A, so you're going to need that A chord. Uh, we're also going to need a D chord, this is our typical family here, and E7. Love that chord. It's a bit of a bear at first, but once you get it, it's a great one to throw in there. If you're not familiar with it, I've got my index finger on the first fret of G, middle is on the second fret of C, and the ring finger's over here on the second fret of A. Right there. And uh, the chord progression for this song is uh, what I call a boomerang pattern, and that is because we are starting on that home chord of A, and then we're gonna throw that boomerang out to the D chord, come on back to the A chord, because that's what boomerangs do. They come right back home. Throw it out to the E7 chord, and then come on back to the A chord again. Start all over, out to D, back to A, out to E7 again, and back to A, and so on and so forth. So we are traveling. You can also think of it as like an infinity pattern for this particular song, because we are always traveling from that A chord out to D, back to A, out to E7, back to A, just sort of in this constant loop. The thing to watch out for is the timing. The, um, the first line is very even, four beats of each, or one measure of each chord. A, two, three, four, D, two, three, back to A, two, three, four, E7. Now watch out, second line is a little different. A, two, three, four, two, D. We're gonna smush it into a sandwich. A, switch, E7, back to A for that final measure. Let's try it again. A, two, three, four, D, two, three, four. A, two, three, four, E7, two, three, four. A, two, three, four, D, two, three. Here's the sandwich. A, E7, back to A, two, three, four. All right, so just watch out for that. Um, that often happens in music where the first line ends on that sort of musical question, that unresolved note, right? So we know we're not done with the verse or the chorus, but when we get to the end, we want to throw it in there, but not end there. We want to come back to that root. So we feel like we've finished out that verse, finished out that chorus, finished out the song. So just watch out for that as we go along. I'm going to use a thumb strum. Let's add some thumb strum into it. So I've got my thumb on the low G, and then I'm going to strum the rest. You can use your thumb uh, for all of it, or thumb and strum with your index finger or your the rest of your fingers like this. That's often how I do it. And then uh, if you have a, a, high, a high G string, what you can do instead is pluck the C string and then do all of the strings, including your high G there. That'll work too. You just want to make sure whatever you're, you're plucking is the lowest note of the chord. All right, let's give it a try. We'll add those chord patterns back into the to the strum pattern and then we'll add some words. Here we go. One, two, ready, and A. Three, four, two, D, two, three, four, two, A, two, three, four, E seven. A D. Here's the sandwich. A E seven to A. It's hard times, cotton mill girls. It's hard times. Cotton mill girls, hard times. Cotton mill girls, it's hard times everywhere. Try it again. Hard times. Cotton mill girls, hard times. Cotton mill girls, hard times. Cotton mill girls, hard times everywhere. Pause. 
pause right there. So feel free to take a pause, review anything that you need uh, for this one. There is a cheat sheet for you at my website if you need it, need some visuals to help you out, not a problem. Uh, when you are ready, stick around for the play along. But note to self, it's gonna go a little little faster than what we just what we just played. There's a, there's a little bit more pep to this one. All right, enjoy. Here is Cotton Mill Girls. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Enjoy this one. 